Hey St. Louis, it's me, Nate Johnson. I hope that you are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. I've got some great suggestions for you to make it a wonderful Halloween weekend. Before we get into this weekend's events, did you know that Saturday is National Candy Corn Day? This iconic candy was created back in the 1800s, believe it or not, and it's been an autumn favorite ever since, so much so that 35 million pounds of candy corn are sold each year. I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of candy corn. Every year I try it and I think it's gonna taste better, but it doesn't. Hey, if you're a candy corn fan, fantastic. You know, it is part of the holiday season, the Halloween, fall, festivities, holidays, all that stuff. So I feel like it's like my duty to try it every year just in case it does get better. I'd hate to miss that. I always wanna give it another shot. Anyhow, let me talk to you a little bit about what's going on this week and just a few things that I'll share because, as you know, in our beloved St. Louis, there's always so much going on. Tonight, the St. Louis Art Museum presents Slam Underground, Vibrant, which is a celebration of the Indian culture and its connection to the exhibition Global Threads, the art and fashion of Indian chintz. It should be a great time as you'll be able to express your own creativity through demonstrations and activities as well as enjoying live performances and a signature cocktail, of course. Also tonight, you can head to historic St. Charles Pumpkin Glow and enjoy the enchanting sight and sounds of hundreds of glowing pumpkins along Main Street. The shops will be open late, so for those of you thinking about Christmas, this is a good time to maybe get some of that shopping done. You know, I don't know about you, I, the gift that I want for Christmas is the presence of my friends and family. That is for sure. Either way, don't forget to grab some of Grandma's cookies before you head out and check out some of the other unique shops in St. Charles like Serendipity and the Enchantic Attic and the Gift Nook. Fantastic opportunity for you. Speaking of sweets, this Saturday and Sunday is the annual Apple Butter Festival in Kimswick. So hop in the car and take a road trip out of the city. Don't forget to enjoy the beautiful fall leaves on your way. They are spectacular. And then check out the streets of Kimswick lined with 500 to 600 different food, drinks, and craft vendors. It's gonna be amazing. There'll be plenty of live music there as well. And that should be a marvelous time. And you could celebrate Halloween and fall at the City Museum on Saturday and Sunday for an all ages spooky celebration, which will include spirit tastings, um, murder mystery dinner, craft makers market, wild bird sanctuary birds, surprise performers, seances, ooh, the list goes on and on. It'll be fantastic. You can also head over to Fright Fest at Six Flags or Boo at the Zoo. Also, the Heavy Anchor in South City is hosting an emo Halloween with Finding Emo. Costumes are encouraged. Spirits in the Garden at the Missouri Botanical Gardens is another thing you could check out. Oh my, the list just goes on and on. There's plenty of monster mashing to be done in St. Louis this weekend. And we did the mash, the monster mash. Anyway, I digress. So if you're looking for some good old fashioned trick or treating or trunk or treating, there's plenty of spaces for it like Faust Park on Friday or Nine Mile Garden on Saturday. And of course the Central West End has their historic, iconic, one of the best celebrations for Halloween that's gonna be taking place on Saturday night as well. I mean, just go, even if you don't dress up, go and check out, you'll see some amazing costumes of other folks and the creativity that people are expressing here in St. Louis is amazing, I love it. So check it out. And don't forget, wherever you end up, don't forget to bring your favorite joke. I'm not much of a joke guy, but I'll tell you, um, what's the difference between a piano and a fish? You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> okay, I have dad jokes, yes. Anyhow, whatever you decide to do this weekend, make it a great one, St. Louis, take care. Oh, by the way, I also have a throwback video that Ashley and I did just a couple years ago here in the office, so hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. <laughs> Hey everybody, I hope that you're all doing well. It's me, Nate Johnson here. I'm here with Ashley, and um, we just wanted to wish you a happy and healthy Halloween. I'll tell you, it's a little chilly out there. Winter certainly got here early, and my buddy over here, boy, I'll tell you, I feel for him, the wind just goes right through him. So I want you to make sure to bundle up out there and have a good time from all of us at Real Estate Solutions. Happy Halloween, see you later.